Hello there lads and lassies, my name is Derek for those of you who don't know and I don't often do vlogs on this channel and when I do do them it's usually for a good reason and today's reason is a simple request for you and people you know, you can tell it to them as well, stop panic shopping, stop hoarding things, there's no point. Now you may be worried about everything that's going on just now and the fact that we have to stay in our homes and the fact that yes there are deaths, there is a lot of illness going around, there is a pandemic. We, I, I understand completely I'm suffering from it myself. Uh, I live with my dad who has cancer and my mum who has some heart problems. Me personally, I'm semi-disabled and uh, my lungs aren't that great to be honest with you. Um, but that's besides the point. This hoarding business, this panic shopping, this going out to a shop and buying 50 pints of milk and 100 toilet papers and this, that and the other, it, it's, it's madness. It really is because people are worried that food's going to run out, toilet paper's going to run out, milk's going to run out. This isn't a war. This isn't a time where farmers are fighting and can't grow new produce. It's not a time where People that aren't working their asses off in a factory double time at the moment because of you lot. Not saying you personally, but you know what I mean. This is a time where we should be calm. Okay? There is plenty of food to go around. There is plenty of toilet paper. There is plenty of milk. And people hoarding perishable items like milk, bread, vegetables, what are you going to do with it? It's going to rot. Think about how you shopped before this pandemic started. A week's worth of shopping. Two weeks worth of shopping. I'm pretty sure you didn't buy the entire stock of toilet paper and milk and everything like that. There are those of us who can't get out to the major supermarkets. We have to rely on other people to get our food for us. And when they go to the supermarkets and the shelves are bare, what do you think happens? Oh, wait, that's right. We don't get to eat. We don't get to wipe our backsides. We don't get to drink milk. We don't get to make a toasty. It's insanity. Stop and think. And if you are one of those people who went out and you stockpiled so much stuff that you have nowhere to put it and you're starting to have to chuck out vegetables, you're starting to have to chuck out milk, you're starting to have to chuck out bread because you've got nowhere to put it. Think about the folk around you. Think about the disabled. Think about the elderly. Think about those people who have to work in hospitals or for care homes and things like that who have nothing. Why not give some of that food away to them? And I mean, yeah, sure, you could sell it. But what would be the point? No one's going to buy second-hand milk. Nobody's going to buy second-hand veg. Nobody's going to buy second-hand bread. You know? And to the shops out there and the shopkeepers, limit people. Nobody needs a hundred toilet rolls. And if they do, you say to them, well, we've got your name now. Don't come back in until they're used. And we don't expect you to see you for a year. Because that's like a year's supply of toilet paper for most folk. Chill out. This will be over before you know it. And remember, follow directions. I've seen so many people out there not following directions, hanging about in groups, going to pubs, going to bars, things like that. That's why the pubs and bars and stuff are shutting down just now. Use your head. You know, stay indoors when you can. You've got plenty to do. We've got the internet now. This isn't like 1940 where there was nothing to do. Okay? We've got the internet. You've got video games. You've got board games. You've got family. You've got conversation. And if you don't have any of those then I'm sure you've got neighbours. You don't have to walk up to them and give them a hug. You can stand and talk to them over your fence. So please, for the last time for me, for just now, chill out. Buy your food normally. As if you, as if you're just shopping for a week. Okay? If you happen to have the symptoms of the coronavirus, stay in. Self-quarantine. Get people to bring your food to you. Okay? Oh, and another thing, if you are able-bodied and you are able to get to a shop, don't take up the slots for people getting home delivery that need it. 
I had a look at home delivery the other day there. It's about May now before any home deliveries can be done. The only place that's doing deliveries now is Amazon. And I'm surely not going to be paying the prices they're asking. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. And please do stay safe and don't panic. It's no point. All right? There will be a gaming video up today as well. So don't panic about that either. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. But until then, bye-bye.